What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Tommy here yet again and we've kind of moved shit around, we're not going to talk too much about that. Um, one quick little thing though, before we forget, there was a mix up in the first tutorial, I have fixed this, as I said I was very very tired, my camera was interlacing as you could tell by how I was moving, everything was a little broken. All fixed now, if you jump into the comments of that video, we've basically forgot to install node.js, you need to install this to run the npm install, the npm module is inside of node.js, we cannot run anything without it, there's too much jargon to explain it, but yeah. Install Node.js, I'll throw a link down in this video description as well. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're here to talk about how to get the OBS integration fully working so you can have some awesome alerts showing up inside of your stream. Why we have to do this the way it is right now is because there's no Stream Elements or Streamlabs OBS version for Trovo yet. I guess they're still working on APIs. I've tweeted at them, I've mentioned it in their discords, I've done everything I could. They have not given me any type of answer so far of if and when they will implement Trobo. So we kind of have to do stuff ourselves for the minute. And that's basically what we're going to do. So we're going to jump over to the computer there now and we're going to show you how to set all this up. Yeah. So from this point you should already have your Trovo bot up and running, you shouldn't be having really any issues. If you are having any issues or you're still stuck on the install, again, make sure to go back to the first video about this and you should be able to get everything up and running. But the first thing you're going to want to do is install the OBS WebSocket plugin. Once you have that installed, you need to reboot your OBS, make sure you don't have the bot running as well. Everything is closed, install this and then start launching everything again. Once you have installed it, take a look at the tools here. We should see WebSocket server settings. We click on that and here is our stuff right here. You can disable authentication so you don't need to worry about any passwords, stuff like that. If you're really the only person who kind of uses this on your network and you have a secure network, you're not extremely like a Starbucks or something, you should be absolutely fine here. From there then, we want to take a look at our Trovobot um, files here. So if we pull them up and if we go into plugins, alerts, and then we have alerts. This text document right here, if it's not a text document, you, you once you open it first, just select notepad or whatever you're, whatever you really prefer. Just don't use obviously something like a rich text document like Word or something like that to try open stuff like code because stuff can get really, really weird really, really quickly. Anyway, so as we see here, everything in here says scenes and it's this name here for the alerts. Okay, so you can just rename all these and like set your own name, but you may as well just use what they gave you. So that's basically what I've done here. As you can see, we have alerts. And then as you see here, we have joint, follow, spell and sub exactly like it says here in our text documents so the source should be called sub the source should be called spell the source should be called joint etc etc just make sure they're all followed exactly with capital letters and then i made them as groups so it's not just one specific type of thing so it's not just an image or something like that we can make it a grouped folder and inside of them we can have multiple things go off so for example if you see here, if we go into the follow, I have two things in here. So it says the name of who just followed. It says me because I was running a test. And then it says here, thanks for the follow. And like you can set this up to be something like animations and stuff like that. But I, I found it just a bit complicated to try find a way how to unhide and hide something like this. Because you could have something as an animation, but then like the name is always going to be static because of how OBS shows and unshows stuff because that's basically all we're doing once someone triggers this this just pops up and it'll just show everything inside of here so i'm just going to reset one of these up for you again just so you can kind of get the gist we're going to redo the follow one because it's very basic one i have at the minute anyway for the joined the source needs to be called joined okay so let's just hide everything here press the plus press group it was joined wasn't it yeah joined all in capital letters like it asks us and we have it here in a folder okay so the first thing that you're going to want to do there is you're going to want to get the person's name so how we can do something like this is if we go to the text tool and let's just call this join txt we see this button here read from file with this button you can select this press browse and now you can take advantage of one of the most powerful things in this bot if you go to your Trovo bot, and if you go to labels here, 
you can see the latest follow, latest whatever, and the total counts. The view count doesn't work. I think he actually released a patch um, last night to get this working because that was one thing I said in my video that wasn't working. So hopefully maybe he's fixed that. As you can see here, so we want the latest joined. So latest join, select that here. As we can see, it's okay, Addy. So one of my mods, Kenzie. And I like the Dahoma font. And we're gonna set that. And we're gonna set it maybe, I don't know, 24 is like a good size. And so then like that, we'll just say it's white, whatever. We can move this wherever we want it. We can have it whatever I want it. I'm gonna say have the name pop up there in the middle. And then we can drag, make sure you drag it into the folder. And then when we open that then, so now at the minute it's just gonna pop up their name when the alert goes off we want something more than that we want to say welcome or something like that now you can use something like photoshop a finishy designer anything like that to create any type of logo like i have with these ones here but we're not going to worry too much about that i'm just going to presume not everyone has access to these types of tools these tools cost money let's do something all inside of obs without having to need anything else so we're just going to call this join then like this we select a nice font. We'll go with something custom. You know, we'll go with the black streamer ones because this one looks really nice. And I know how to make this font look nice. So, welcome hit this button to the stream. We could do something like this. Then you can make it go even like that let's drag it in here and you know we could actually even make this look a little bit nicer and we can take his name snap it into the center and we can even use the same font no it won't add, no actually no we can't because it won't work because the name isn't capitalized unless we can force a capitalization if we can that would actually be really cool if we can force a capitalization Writing system. Hmm. No. Can't force on this. Hey! Uppercase. Like the font. That's not really gonna. Ah, you know, it's not too bad. And then we can hide it. And then let's say then inside of the alerts here, there is a readme file. And with that readme file, it actually gives you little alerts to kind of test stuff so we can hear their alerts joined and if i just post this into my trovo chat right now there we go and then that will pop up then for everybody who has just joined so then you see the way it doesn't really stay centered that'd be something i would like to try and fix alignment we could keep it center now i really don't really have a way to actually test this all different sorts of stuff like this you can even have it in such a way that audio comes in and you know will make a sound to make you actually aware someone just followed someone just subscribed so you don't just look at your chat two minutes later and go oh shit someone subscribed to me two minutes ago and i never said thank you Did you get me you could set this up in such a way that you could have audio play and it's very 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 easy you just do the same thing nest it all into the folder and once it's hidden it won't play once it's unhidden, it will play. If you select the button to start from the start, once it's unhidden, there you go. You know, you're absolutely free to do really whatever you'd like. I hope this makes the bot a little bit more easier to understand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, big shout out to Buyer Blaze Payne and everyone else who's helped develop this bot and everything to do with this bot. They're absolutely fantastic. If you have not already, join the Discord down below. They're great, great guys. They, they deserve all the support you can give them but anyway it's from me thank you very much for watching peace